Dneska se podíváme na našlapené video miliardáře Alexe Hormozio, které se jmenuje Postavil jsem miliardový biznis za 6 minut. Našlapaný video, jdeme na to. I get asked all the time about these nose trips that I wear. I wear nose trips so that I don't snore at night. In this video I'm going to break down how I would launch a nose trip business if I were to launch one and how I would get it to be a 40 to 60 million dollar enterprise and how you can use the same thought process to apply to any physical products business or service business that you use to sell stuff to people that you don't know. A nose trip costs pennies to manufacture. You can sell them for a hundred times that price. So if it costs you two cents and you can sell it for a buck, you're making huge margins on the actual thing. The second thing is that it's sticky, quite literally, but also from a recurring standpoint, if you can improve how someone breathes, they're gonna buy it again and again and again. Alex nám tady teda ukáže jeho myšlenkový proces, jak by založil biznis s nose tripama. Uh, mimochodem, já jsem o tom nikdy v životě neslyšel, že existují nějaký pásky na nos na chrápání, ale OK. A 98% marže, uh, OK, chápu. Asi tam je, ale je to udržitelný. No, jdem se podívat dál, co nám k tomu ještě řekne. I could have auto ship built into it, which would be nice and it makes it convenient for people. It's also something that doesn't require willpower to use. You don't have to remember to do it. Like the problem with supplements is that people have to remember to take them. Most people sleep every day. Most people don't work out every day. And so I'd rather associate a product with something that people are doing on a regular basis without willpower. It's the reason beauty products to me are more interesting than fitness products by and large. Tohle je dobrý, že přemýšlím nad tím produktem, že bych chtěl produkt, který se lidi budou kupovat opakovaně. To většinou je jakoby vždycky velká výhoda, protože vy pak, když najdete zákazníka, tak ten zákazník vás může stát víc, abyste ho získali. Můžete mít větší náklad na to získat ty zákazníky, protože on pak, jestli bude kupovat opakovaně, tak se vám to potom vrátí. Ty biznesy, kde je recurring revenue, jako subscription a opakovaný nákupy, tak jsou v tomhle dobrý, no. I have deep product knowledge. I've used the ones that are like pieces. Not a huge fan. I walk around within the morning and I take it in, I put it in my pocket, I leave it on my kitchen table. Out of bed to go get the thing. I like the disposable ones. And the things that I would probably do to make it different is I'd focus a lot on the product. I would also probably try and tie in some sort of branding element. I would put like volume or persist or endure across the bridge of the nose. I'd like to have one that was clear that had the word. So the only thing you see is the word, which I think would be really cool. It has to stick all the way through. To jsem chtěl říct, že k tomhle nápadu mi přijde, že, že není jako tak těžký být konkurence toho. Jedna i ze základních pouček i, i v investování je, aby ten produkt měl vysokou konkurenční výhodu. A když si vezmete pásky na nos, tak to může udělat, mi přijde každý, takže ten trh se může nasytit a pak vám i ty marže spadnou, že jo? Jako 98% marže, to je crazy. Tady teda má nějaký nápad s tím, že by tam chtěl zadávat jako by nějaký motivační věci na ten nos, jdem dál. The different flavors of the nose strips would be the words that people are working on. And so I like having those constant daily subconscious reminders around things. They actually found in sales rooms that having a single word on the wall affected performance from the team even if it was just huge. So if you just have like one more on the wall, then everyone sees that as this daily reminder that they need to keep s tímhle souhlasím, pokud máte nějaký životní cíle nebo něco, co byste chtěli dokázat, tak si to fakt někde napište. Fakt to pomáhá a já mám různé věci napsané už asi od uh, 22 a docela to funguje. <laughs> Jak to ten váš mozek vidí každý den, tak prostě o tom častěji přemýšlí a pak to jakoby nějak to pak líp funguje. I would want my face to be the walking billboard for my eyes. And I would have it spelled backwards so that in the mirror someone could see it and they could see it every day. And it would remind people of like a word that they're trying to focus on for a season. And so I'll give you a basic estimate of what I think would end up happening money wise. Let's say that we retail the product for, let's see what uh, some strips go for real quick. So they currently sell for about 30 cents a strip. And I'd probably sell 30, 60, 90 packs. I would want to be a little bit premium. $19.99 would probably be a price point that I would look at. $24.99 I would split test the price points there, but it'd probably be in that range. My cost of goods would almost be entirely based on the shipping cost that's associated. Cost to ship the nose strips would probably be in the neighborhood of like $4, maybe like two and a half. It depends on like the 3PL that we would use. Even after the cost of all the nose strips, which is minimal, let's just say we make $16 of gross margin on a $20 product, which is really good for physical product. Tohle video je sponzorováno investiční aplikací Trading 212 která rozdává akcie zdarma až do hodnoty 2,5 tisíce korun. A to pro všechny, kteří si ji stáhnou a zadají v ní kód ERIK. Pokud chcete ještě podrobnější návod, dám vám odkaz na celé video o aplikaci do popisku tohoto videa. Tak jo, přeji hodně štěstí, ať vyhrajete tu nejlepší, jako například tihle. A teď už jdeme zpátky na video. Five options on my upsell. One, three, six, twelve. All the way down to maybe 15% off if they buy, you know, 12 months worth and then cascading upwards in terms of smaller percentages off. Ty upsely to je tady super u těchhle produktů, který jakoby když si někdo ho teda kupuje, tak ho kupuje pravidelně příklad ponožky. Když mu nabídnete jakoby větší balíček s nějakou slevou, tak to docela dobře funguje. Tady má 
3 měsíce, 6 měsíců, 12 měsíců s 15% slevou by dal a tak. But let's do the math on how much money this would make. Let's say 10,000 people a month would go to a page if I said, hey, check this out. And if I did it consistently, it'd probably be about 10,000 people a month. Just click. Z toho mého příkladu bude počítat s 10 000 lidmi, co mu tam každý měsíc bude chodit. Ale on je někde musí získat, že jo? On pak jako řekne, že on by je tam hodil, ale to využívá svoji slavu, takže tady bychom museli vzít náklady na marketing. Kdybyste to budovali vy od nuly někdo, tak prostě náklady na marketing, kolik by stálo dostat tam 10 000 lidí, kteří mají o tohle zájem. And then we converted 5% of traffic on that page, 500 buyers. Let's just keep it at the monthly rather than getting in the average bundles. 10% churn, and it's not very low for physical, but just leave it at that. Every month I would sign up 500 and then I'd lose 10%. This business would keep growing with that level of traffic until we reached 5,000 users because it's 500 divided by 10%, which is the churn, which is the number of maxed out users at a hypothetical max where you're in equilibrium between number of signups and number of cancellations. I would be at 5,000 users a month. Price point was $20, $100,000 a month. $80,000 a month, so a million dollars a year in profit from the no strips. No, zní to jednoduše, že? Jako jde vidět, že je to velký podnikatel, že prostě mu to v té hlavě takhle šrotuje. Třeba by to ani nebyl úspěšný projekt, jo, ale prostě má nějak se takhle nakreslí, vyzkouší, když to bude fungovat, nebude fungovat, jo, prostě jde dál a zase prostě si kreslí v hlavě další nápady. Takhle většinou ti podnikatele funguje super, jak on to tam prostě střílí, jo. And if I was focusing on like a branding perspective, I would probably go after the entrepreneur community first, because it's obviously a community that I have access to. The brand would actually be more of a personal development brand of like becoming the person you want to be with the daily actions and reminders of who you want to become. Because I'd want it to be mass market, I would show different walks of life working on different problems. Moms, and their word is patience. Patience can apply to anyone, but like a prisoner who just gets out is an ex-con, it might be like forgiveness. It could be a much wider brand if you focus on the deficiencies that people want to fill. And then I'd have to think of some kind of sexy word for the brand name. I don't know, I feel like it'd be something around like better, be better nose trips. Yeah, vidět, že to vymýšlí za chodu za 6 minut, takže název be better jako není nic special, jo, ale okay. <laughs> Vymyslí to za 6 minut, no, tak jako, co bysme chtěli víc. Short and simple, that people could understand and share. You want it to be about the prospect, and more specifically about the problem that we're solving, and the person that they want to become, and the promises that we're fulfilling. If you can help someone feel better about who they are, people will pay anything for that feeling. And so the wedge, product is the idea that we are helping people breathe better but the brand and the promise is about we're helping people be better what i would really want to do is build the capacity to make the words easy to print on there so we could have people put their own custom word in to je dobrý nápad to kdyby měl zajetej systém tak to by si pak mohl zvýšit marže protože lidi jsou ochotní zaplatit více za custom věci že jo a kdyby to nemohli sehnat někde jinde so it's like you can choose from one of my five words but if you want to put your own word in it's 30 dollars and i get this huge premium but it's worth it for a lot of people to have their own custom word so that would be like a unique competitive moat. If you develop a manufacturing capacity that can like on demand create the word that someone wants, you can literally 2x, 3x sometimes the price of the thing because value is there for people. And they would get a text that would say, hey, what word do you want to work on this month? They text it back. It automatically goes into the system and then ships it right out to them. And I would probably ship no strips with two or three variations of influencers that I thought were words that their communities dug. So someone sends me Mosey Nation or someone sends me S and Me 500. Someone sends me those terms on a strip. I'm going to be like, Dude, this is dope. Tohle je dobrý nápad, že kdyby to takhle měl uh, s těma slovama přesto a poslal to influencerům, který právě má nějaký slovo, který s něma souvisí, s tou osobností, tak to by mohlo fungovat dobře. Ale ten influencer marketing funguje strašně dobře, takže je vidět, že se vyzná Alex i v tomhle. And then because I have such high gross margins, I could say, hey man, I'll give you 40%. By the way, if you're making your own business, if you ran 40% margin on your own audience, it's a great business anyways. For me, I was able to add a million dollars to the business and then you add a hundred influencers. Maybe they're not as big or they're not as no strip centric like I am, but maybe if they did a tenth of the volume that I could do on average, it's 10 times what I'm doing, which is $10 million. Theirs was only 40% margin to me because I had give them 40 and there's 20 that was cost. So let's cut that in half again. So I get another 20% from the 10x volume that I get from them. Mind you, you still have to run the business, but let's just keep it simple for now. So now we're probably looking at a three or $4 million dollar EBITDA business that is recurring, not dependent on one single face, very high gross margin so that they can go into new channels that has a unique and competitive moat that allows it to have a premium pricing, which I didn't even factor in, like if we sold it for 40 rather than 20. That would be a really interesting business model that would have huge enterprise values. If you're curious, the final piece is that what would this business be worth? If we're doing 
four million in EBITDA for a physical products business like this, this business would probably be worth somewhere in the 40 to 60 million dollar range. Tak tady to máte, jak vytvořit miliardový biznis za 6 minut. A spíš bych to bral jakoby příklad přemýšlení, než že tenhle konkrétní biznis opravdu udělá takový cash, když do toho půjdete. Spíš bych to bral jako na tom přemýšlení, že to přemýšlení můžete vzít jakoby na, na veškerý spouštění podnikání, takhle přemýšlíte o těch maržích, přemýšlíte o tom marketingu, o brandingu, o konkurenční výhodě a pak prostě zkoušíte, pak to prostě zkusíte. Podnikatele prostě zkouší různé projekty, různé nápady a nikdy to nevíde, čekali úplně jinak, nevíde to a někdy něco, co nečekali, najednou se rozjede, takže o tom to je to zkoušen. Minule mi tam psali lidi, no jo, kdyby to bylo tak jednoduchý, tak to dělá každý. Než to nikdo nikdy neřekl, podnikání není jednoduchý. A jakmile se do toho dostanete a budete, budete prostě se v tom zdokonalovat, tak někdy něco trefíte, jako někdy něco bude fungovat. Tak jo, nezapomeňte si vyzvednout tu akci zdarma, dávám návod v popisku videa. Doufám, že se vám to video líbilo. A něco jsme se zase dneska naučili. Tak jo, mějte se, ahoj.